Hello, everyone. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. If you can hear me, see me, I need you, first of all, to press tag, to press share, because we're going. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're going. We're going. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. God is so good. God is so good. God is trying to get his, you know, trying. God is getting ready to get his body of Christ right. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why you see all the tops and turns in this. That's why you see everything going out down. God is getting ready to flip the script on the devil and everybody else. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I feel the power of God because to be honest with you, I just got in back from Baton Rouge and I was, I was going to take a shower. God said, no, no. And I got geared up because he was like geared up. I said, okay, Holy Spirit. So how you want me to do this? So let me get straight into it. What God was saying is that exposure is here straight up that that's that's it that's irrelevant okay you have to understand what i'm saying everybody can get it me you it does not matter god is saying it's time to get it together and not only that let, let me tell you what else he's saying you're still called oh come on somebody i'm about to go from genesis to revelation in five minutes come on somebody in five minutes moses come on somebody abraham david joshua everybody made a mistake come on somebody hallelujah so you're gonna make some mistakes but you're still called god said get back up come on somebody hallelujah before we were saved what we was doing we were sinning right come on somebody we weren't winning we were sinning but what happened there was an intricate part of our life that god touched us come on somebody but it was still a process and if it was a process that means guess what i had to process that thing through so guess what you're still processing some of you getting tripped up or what people say what people do but sometimes you're your biggest enemy because you're letting the, the enemy tell you that you are not who god called you to be the devil is a lie you are still who god have called you to be as a matter of fact to be honest with you it's that thing that's gonna make you go to the next level it's that thing that test that failure that fall down because when you fall down truth be told you get back up with a little more power because it ain't you it's god saying get back up the prodigal son come on somebody hallelujah the prodigal daughter. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. That's why you can't be phased. Oh, come on, somebody. About what people say, what they don't say, what they do, what they don't do. You got to know who your God is. You got to hold on to God. I don't care what it look like. I don't care what it feel like. I don't care what they say. I don't care who stay. I don't care who leave you. You got to know who you are, God said, especially in this hour. Hallelujah. Too many are getting tripped up what people say. Social media, family, friends. You could talk about me all day long. I am still Apostle Deanna Dixon. And I'm a die Apostle Deanna Dixon because you didn't call me. Oh, hallelujah. You didn't call me. You can't put me in heaven and you can't put me in hell. And even if I fail, oh, hallelujah. I got a God that said I can pick you up, baby. I can turn you around and I can place your feet on solid ground. Hallelujah to his name. And as long as you know that you can win, child of God. You can win, man of God. You can win, woman of God. Quit getting tripped up, God says. You can tripped up. You're getting choked up thinking God because the enemy, the enemy hitting in your head. Oh, you ain't gonna be this. Oh, you ain't this. Look what you did. Look how you did it. So what? You gotta tell him every time he comes against you what is the accusation of the enemy. You gotta say, that's under the blood. That's under the blood too. Yeah, I did that. That's under the blood. But you see what y'all getting tripped up at? Y'all learning from these fake leaders how to lie, how, how to trick, how to hook, how to crook. The best thing to do is open repentance. Or privately before before you and your father and let him know, God, I did it. I did it. And if he requires you publicly, I did it, y'all. I did it. Please don't th stone me. Because the Bible says that when that woman was counting her sin, Jesus said, who without sin could cast the first stone? And I don't think none of you can. Hallelujah. Because we've all sinned and fell short of the glory of God. So how dare you stone your brother and your sister? Now, nah, hold on. If you have the authority as an apostle, prophet, or even not even a title, and God tell you to correct somebody, a rebuke, and it better be of God, by the way, because some of y'all tripping. I, I don't know what it was, but God having me been going on YouTube, and I've been seeing these people come from out the woodworks, attacking leaders, attacking everybody. I'm not saying what they did, what they didn't, I wasn't there. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But I am saying this. How dare you come against a man or woman of God without the authority of God? Are you crazy? Do you understand what you're doing to yourself? That is death, hallelujah. That is death, hallelujah. That is death, said the Lord. He said he deals with his. Hallelujah to his name. How dare you? Because you want to talk or you want followers or you want somebody to channel? 
Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all better quit playing with God. Hallelujah. Y'all better quit playing with the people of God. You better, you better watch what you say in this hour. You better watch what you do in this hour. And you ain't got to believe me. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Because one thing I know about the God that I serve, I don't play with him. Because I know people that I have loved, he have put them down into the grave. Yes, he have. Allow this. Allow that. And you think he won't do it to you? Even me. I ain't exempt, honey. Hallelujah to his name. So I'm just telling you, be careful in this hour that you don't say anything that God don't tell you to say. That you don't do anything that God don't tell you to do. That you don't put nobody in heaven. That you don't put nobody in hell. Because as last I checked, the last assistant got fired. Who was the last assistant, Satan? God fired him. And, and, and from beyond to me, I haven't got no memo, though. God said he ain't hired another assistant. That means you have no power. You have no right unless ordained by God to say so. The things that I have said up here and, the, and when I call a name, that's because I promise you I've went maybe two, three, honest, maybe four or five times because I don't ever want to be found out to be a liar before God. Are you crazy? For, for for you, for some likes, for social media. And then when I die, I got I to gotta worry about where I'm going. The devil is a liar. And if you get caught in the facade, and that's what it is. Because let me tell you what this is all about. This is all about the devil. The devil want to take everybody from God. So what he did, he, he created this elaborate stuff. And I know you think God did. Yes, God created the earth. But God did not create this world what we see. God didn't create drugs, thugs, perversions, lust. The devil is a liar. God didn't do that because God said everything I made was good. He said, I looked around and it was good. Hallelujah to his name. So don't start with that foolishness. Hallelujah to his name. So y'all getting sucked in, sucked in, sucked in. Because what? I want attention. I, I, I want to be liked. I want to be famous. I want to be this. People of God, I'm telling you what I feel in the spirit. You better slow down, God says. You better slow down because he's taking notes of everything we say and everything we do. And he says, tell them that they should surely give account. And that's even me too, by the way. It don't matter who you are. Anybody could get it. Y'all doing too much. You're doing too much. And then anger. So much anger in the body of Christ. Let me tell you where the devil is. He ain't in them streets like y'all think. He in the body of Christ. It then seeped into the streets. Y'all ain't ready for me to break this thing down, but let me break it down. Back in the 1800s, the 1700s, the 1600s, the 1500s, it was called the church. And the church actually was ahead of the government. And before they decided it, church and state. Come on, somebody. Let me go ahead and school you. So what happened in the church would actually, it would trickle down to every part of the government and society. Now, hello, what has happened in the church? Since we have come in with that prosperity, that's what happened. That's what happened. The church, the poor saints were so poor until they say, let's give them some money and let's flip the script. Didn't it work? Come on, somebody, talk to me. Talk to me. Because I remember being a little girl when I felt the Holy Ghost. I didn't know what it was then. Hallelujah. When I would just come in church and I knew I, I, I got quiet because I felt something. I didn't know what it was at that time. And y'all know what I'm saying is true. Now, nah, you can't feel the Holy Ghost when you go into any church. As a matter of fact, even when you leave the church. Oh, come on, somebody. And, and, and I'm going to tell y'all something, too. That's how I know y'all not old school. And that's how I know y'all don't know the Holy Spirit. How is it that the Holy Spirit has to be ushered in? Isn't God omnipresent? So how in the heck do he have to be ushered in? The only way he could be ushered in is if he wasn't there. Woo! You ready for that one? He's supposed to dwell. It's a dwelling. It's a dwelling. Can I tell y'all something for real? And I thank God for Miss Loretta Rice, the one that prophesied. I put it on my page over me on Saturday night. Because I was just on the internet and I don't just do that. I don't just stop on anybody's page because you, you, you ain't taking me. I'm going to tell you right now, especially if you ain't right. But some she said, she was like, God is going to send people around you that trust you, that, that, that you can trust, and, and that have pure motives. Let me tell y'all why Apostle Deanna Dixon have it so hard. And we're talking about family and friends, too. They sneak, even when they're around me. Oh, I'm about to talk about it tonight. Always watching me just to see if I'm going to do something. No, no, just to see if I, who, I'm who I say I am. Then when they find out I am, they can't deal with it. You can't handle it because it's real, baby. Oh, 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 she, she really talk about God all the time. Oh, oh, she really don't drink. She really don't smoke. She really don't have sex. Hallelujah. I do this for real. You thought it was a fake? Boom. Yeah, you did. You did. Now you can't handle it because then I turn around. I, I say, now who are you? 
And you ain't got the same testimony. And hold on, I ain't condoning nobody. I ain't bashing nobody. I ain't putting nobody down. I ain't judging nobody. I'm just telling the truth. Don't play with me. And that's what they still doing to this day. But now hold on. All of us are human. We all have that weakness. Well, there may be a time where we may do something we say we'll never do, but God has still called you. And yet people will tell you that, oh, that's that they're not a woman of God. They're not a you know, the devil is a liar. When Abraham sinned, he was still a man of God. When David killed Bathsheba's husband, he was still a man of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When Moses killed that Egyptian, he was still a man of God. Oh, come on, somebody. I can go down the line. When Samson slept with Delilah, although he knew he was never supposed to take a strange woman, he was still a man of God. Hallelujah. So are you saying that just because they made a mistake that they are not men and women of God? You are a liar and the truth ain't in you. You are of your father, the devil. Because that's what the devil do. He torments people. You ain't this. You ain't this. You did this. That's not God. God says that he throws it in the sea of forgiveness to remember it no more. But he do say, now turn and don't do that sin again. Now, if you are a leader and you're doing stuff, oh my God, it's going to be heavy on you for real. Because it's supposed you're going to be hard. Y'all hear what I'm saying tonight? Telling what God said. Oh, y'all got me worked. I feel like I've been preaching for five hours. Y'all had me going. I felt the power of God. Y'all just pulling on me. Y'all don't see what time it is? The devil's trying to take us from God. The devil's trying to separate us, trying to make us hate each other, trying to make us bash each other. And, 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 and I'm going to tell you something. It is a way to do something. Even when your brother and sister come against you, even when they make a mistake or even when they do wrong, it is a way. Just because you're right does not give you the permission to do evil. Did you hear what I just said? Let me repeat it. Just because you are right does not give you the permission to do evil. God didn't say that. As a matter of fact, that's going against God because he said, vengeance is mine, say it the Lord, not yours, honey. Woo, y'all got me going. If we don't get this thing right, but God going to make sure if he got to bring it all down. That's what I heard him saying. He said, I got to bring it all down and them. You don't hear what he just said. Hallelujah to his name. Okay, all right. All right. I think that's all he wanted to say. Whew. Oh, Lord. I've got me scratching my head. I ain't lying. I felt the holy power. So, so, it's so powerful. God, God's powerful, y'all. I'm serious. It'll make you back up. Whew. All right. That's all God said. I don't take away. I don't add. Mm -mm. So all I'm saying is, come on now. Let's do better. And I'll put my, let's do better. Let's do better. Let's, we got to do better. He ain't said it was going to be easy. As a matter of fact, Excuse me. He says, endure hardness as a good soldier. So that lets you know it's going to be some hard times. It's going to be some times where you just, God, I don't know, God. I don't know, God. But you got to hold on. I can, I would be transparent. You know how many times I want to quit? You know how many times I want to just, just delete this page and just say, God, I'm tired. I can't do it no more. I get attacked for nothing. They lie on me for nothing. I, I can see if I was doing it. And even if I was doing it, there's a way to do stuff. Let's be real. But. The attack's been crazy, but I can't give up because he didn't give up on me. He didn't. He didn't turn his back on me. He, he he didn't leave me. Oh, come on, somebody! Even when I was wrong, he didn't leave me. Hallelujah to his name, and he'll never leave and forsake you, my brother. He'll never leave and forsake you, my sister. But know who you are. You're better than what you're doing. You're better than what you're doing. You're better than how you're doing it. Don't let money or anything else separate you from the love of Christ, because that's what the enemy is using. Come on, somebody. Can't take it with you. And is it worth your soul? Is it worth your soul? Some of y'all, I'm going to tell y'all the biggest thing people are succumbing to. Flesh. I, I, I'm going to tell y'all what really hurt me last night. I found out that some of the body of Christ is setting up each other. That's right. They setting each other up. They tried to set me up last year. Okay, let's go there. They tried to offer me, it was over 20000 and the woman wants to come sleep to my house, and I'm not going to get all into that, but I promise you, before God, it all happened. I had me a witness. I took my cousin with me. I went and brought that woman everything that she gave me, even the money she tried to give me. I said, I don't roll like that for nobody. They set up my brothers. They set up some of my sisters, and this is in the body of Christ. This is men and women of God, but y'all think it's a game, huh? See, the Illuminati is not just out there. 
is in the church. I keep telling y'all, this is the world. I don't know what it's going to take to get y'all attention. This is the world. I know it. But it's no separate entity. It's either you're serving God or you're serving the devil. But understand, God gave him this world. He has the right to do what he wants. He is over the kingdoms of the world. That means he can give the glory. He can give the riches to whom he choose. And guess what? He, you got to play by his rules. And y'all understand they're playing by his rules, huh? Why you think it's so much to surrender in the body of Christ, y'all? But our position is to pray for them. Now, as less as the dust said the Lord, you keep your mouth off of them and pray for them. Hallelujah to his name. And all these people, and I wish y'all disturbed this. All these little uh, warlocks and witches on YouTube bashing everybody. Woe to you, God says. Woe to you. You better stop it. You sitting up there doing that for likes and money and, and half of you look like you're high when you're doing it. Y'all know I didn't do everything, so you know I know. Y'all don't even know what y'all playing with. Beating got up there one day and can't get up or, or, or fall down. Y'all playing. Have you not learned anything from Marion and Aaron when they talked about Moses? That's a dang. I'm not, I'm not trying to scare y'all. It's a dangerous thing to put your mouth on a man or woman of God. I learned that in my stupid days. When I first started ministry talking, yeah, I, I really was tripping. Oh, you see how God, and I was right, by the way, by, I was right. You know, God still tat at me. He said, it wasn't that you wasn't right. It's what you did and how you said it, what you said. And I had to go to them people and tell them people I was sorry. And I was so embarrassed. But y'all, and think that you are in audience with the spirit of God. You are a liar before God. Y'all don't know what's getting ready to happen. People going to start falling down dead. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what I see. God is getting tired. One thing about God, it, it feels like God ain't doing nothing. That's when it's dangerous. Y'all better read your Bible. When God got quiet, woo! Every time I look in that Bible, he turned upside down, baby. He he just sitting back waiting, waiting, waiting. Woo! Y'all think it's a game. Y'all got got be having me scratch my head. I get so nervous because I know the power of God real. All right, you guys, let me get off of here. It's all he got to say. It's all he told me to say. So I love you guys. I really do. That's why I tell y'all the truth because, um, so all we got, like I said earlier, all we got is the truth. Everything else, it ain't even real. Trust me, I tried it. I tried everything that y'all think y'all want. I'm telling y'all it ain't real. It's just a facade. It ain't real. They tricked me. They tricked me. But God didn't let it go down, and that's why I love him. He could have really let me get captive, and that's foolishness. But he said, not her. Not her. And I was so mad because we all want to do well. Can I talk for real? We all want to do well. But can I tell you something? I thank God he saved me. So when he blessed me, cool. When he don't bless me, still cool. I'm still happy and I thank you, Jesus, for saving me. So I love you guys. Bless you guys. Please tag and share because I'm coming with that full truth. I, I, I've been fasting so long. I don't know if it's been a month now. I don't know. So when y'all see me get real skinny, don't be talking about apostle on something. Y'all on something. That Holy Ghost fire, baby. And I, I ain't even playing. I want it. I want everything that God has for me. Everything. And I'm not talking about materialistic stuff. I'm talking about I'm ready to do what he has called me to do to the fullest manifestation. Because just like you, there's more to us. We, we, we be holding back or, or hurt things or, or things we go through, test, trial. Sometimes we get upset with God. Sometimes we get tired. Whatever the case may be, God wants your best, your all, your everything. And I'm about to give it to him. Hallelujah to his name. Watch me. All right, you guys. God bless. This is Apostle Don, Deanna. De I'm about to say something else, y'all. Look at me. I, I'm under the Holy Ghost, so I don't know what come out of my room under the Holy Spirit. All right, y'all. God bless you. Realize so just for that is who you are. <clears throat>